Joyce DiDonato and Brenda Ray are here with me now. Hello, ladies. Hi, Hello. Hello. So Agrippina was written more than 300 years ago, and yet this new production will mark the Met's premiere. And what can the Met audiences expect from this old yet new masterpiece? Oh. A little cat fighting. There's Just a little. A lot of humor. <laughs> Some dancing. A little Ooh. bit of black humor. Ooh, I, I like do it. think we flirt a little bit with the line of camp mm -hmm. and also goes quite dark. Basically, we'll be taking a look at the ancient world of Rome through the newer eyes of Handel and Venetian uh, times of Vatican politics through the lens of 2020 where nothing appears to have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Not a thing, 300 years later. Not a yeah. thing, still haven't learned those lessons. <laughs> come so far. Yeah. <laughs> so Joyce, Agrippina seems like such a rich role. And um, spoiler alert, here's your, here's your tomb. <laughs> you have to show that. <laughs> so what can you tell me about who this woman is and what's it like to portray her? Well, for, it's incredible. I mean, she was a very powerful Roman uh, empress at the time. She mm -hmm. got her face on the coin at the time. So she was a ruthless, uh, powerful, savvy political player. Yeah. And it's amazing to play her this time. She was um, a combination of Mommy Dearest and Julia Louise Dreyfus from Veep. You know, yes. she's tireless, fearless, very amoral, uh, take no prisoners, Must throw so whoever fun. needs to be thrown under the bus, under the bus. <laughs> But she's doing it all for the right reasons, mm, of course, as far as she's concerned. Yeah, it, it's a gift of a role. <laughs> yeah, Wonderful. For sure. And Brenda, you are making your Met debut. Congratulations as Popeye. And Thank from you. what I understand of the story, you are the object of desire. And But you have to be quite acrobatic hmm. and all while singing so much coloratura. How, girl, how are you doing that? Oh, boy. I don't know. Masterfully. I should, I'm sure. Masterfully. I'm sure. Always just thinking, don't think too much. Don't think too much. <laughs> Running in heels, you know? Right. Trying to stay on my tiptoes. Right. But, um, you know, Popea, she's still in the, the more innocent part of her life, even though she's manipulative. But she learned so much during this opera about how to manipulate people around her mm -hmm. and then we see the popea in the other opera yeah. <laughs> l'incoronazione di popea when uh -huh. popea has yeah. learned everything from <laughs> from the master <laughs> the mistress like, there's a great bar scene and it's just the exit that you make where you see the the flip has switched awesome. mm. and wonderful. she's learned very well wonderful <laughs> wonderful <laughs> so this new production by david mcvicker up updates the action to the modern day mm -hmm. so tell me what do you think of the ancient rome of agrippina and how what Temporary lives. People that will lie to get into power. Mm -hmm. People that will do anything to cover up those lies to yep. get into power. People that will do anything to retain power. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if only it was relevant. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, if only. <laughs> and, it, and it's also you see bad people doing bad things. Right. And you see the worst of humanity coming out through charm and beautiful costumes mm -hmm. and slick looks you mm -hmm. know everything looks good on the surface right. but you know and the beautiful thing is this is where we all end up <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> mm -hmm. Joyce and Brenda I, we're so looking forward to Agrippina and thank you so much thank for you. speaking thank with us good today. luck Kansas City Chiefs tomorrow <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, thank you thank you